okay, she's had one. Yep. But um, nothing since. Okay. I really don't know that I can cope with it on my own. Just try to keep it calm. Is she, is she pushing at the moment? I'm not breathing yet. No, I'm not getting anything here. At the Bondi Clinic, Jen's anxiously waiting for her appointment with Chris. I'm very nervous. Um, she's, she's only two and um, this wasn't meant to happen. English pointer Jewel looks pregnant and it was definitely unplanned. That's why we're here, right? Yes. She doesn't belong to me. She's my son's dog. Yep. And um, he left her in my charge while, we, while he went overseas to work and um, she got out with our dog and I'm not quite sure what she's been up to. I have a bit of an idea. You'd expect that I'd be able to touch her stomach and feel the puppies, but her belly wall is so tight, I can't feel a thing. X-rays will confirm whether this is a phantom pregnancy or the real thing. Big moment, Jen. You see it? She has a football team inside of her. Oh dear. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, how can they all be in there? <laughs> eleven puppies is going to be a huge ask on Jewel, and the reality is, if she was desexed, she would never have been put in this situation. The world's already got enough puppies that don't have homes. We probably don't need to add to it with any more. But you look at Jen right now. I don't think this is going to be a mistake. She'd make twice. Hello. With the pregnancy confirmed, Jen now has to come clean to her son. He thinks there might be about 11 in there. 11 puppies. Yeah. Oh. So I guess I should say congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want a dog? <laughs> 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 it's going to be hard. My son's away. Uh, my husband's away working. Um, it's just us. Um, I really don't know that I can cope with it on my own. Um, I would hate to think that she got into distress and um, we had trouble. So how's everything going? Yeah, she's okay. She's had one, yep. but um, nothing since. Okay. Two days after Jules' visit to the clinic, a call from owner Jen gets Chris out of bed. Just try to keep it calm. Is she, is she pushing at the moment? Jules' huge litter of pups is on the way. Hello. Hello. <laughs> now you're dad, aren't you? Yeah. So you've had one? Yes. And nothing since? You take a number early, did you? First in the queue. Went out about two and a half hours since the first puppy was delivered. And, I mean, that's not ideal. You'd normally like them to be followed up pretty quickly, usually within about half an hour. Dad. Dad just getting involved when he needs to come out and saying, hey, Jill, I'm loving your work right now. You're doing great. If you need me, I'm inside. But until the next one's delivered, I'll probably be asleep. But keep up the good work. This is going to be a very long process. I'm just weighing up right now whether I intervene, whether I actually give her an injection of something to really stimulate those contractions to come on. Just remembering how much longer she still has to be in labour for. Jen, we got another one. In Jules' maternity ward, it's been three hours since her first pup was born. At least ten more are on the way. This one's come a little bit breech. So it's come back legs first. Mm. There we go. I'm not breathing yet. Oh, yes. Another one, Jen. Oh, there you go. It's just gurgling a little bit. <laughs> the puppies are now coming quickly and Jewel is turning out to be a natural mother. I'm not surprised at all. She's a good girl. 
not dead. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> it's time for Token the dad to have a closer look at his progeny. We call it dog paternity test. Comes a sunrise, Jen. Good morning. <laughs> Small little one. Come on. But when the fourth puppy arrives, it is not responding. Another one. You want to do that one there, Jim? Just break that membrane open. In a litter this big, it's rare to get them all out alive. And that's what you got to remember, but I'm just going to give it every chance. And no, I'm not getting anything here. In the one, come on. Despite mouth to mouth resuscitation, there is no sign of life. Sorry, Mum, it's not looking good for this one. Sad reality, unfortunately, Jen, when you have this many puppies inside the womb, one of them ultimately ends up in a bad place where they just can't really grow and, and get all the nutrients. I think this is the one that's, that's been the case. It's very good to have Chris here. I'm not sure how I would have coped with that one. At the maternity ward, daylight has arrived. One puppy has not survived and there are seven more to be delivered. Everybody is exhausted. Yeah. But there is no let up yeah. for the first time mum. Oh yeah, look at you go. You are gonna be trouble, aren't you? There you go. Okay. She wants it over, but it ain't over yet. No, you do, you take it, Chris. She was also increasingly happy just to hand the duties over to me. So, buddy, if you're still here, you know the drill. Look <laughs> at little pandas. It's now seven hours into the ordeal, and Jules given birth to ten puppies. Jules is totally floored by the whole experience, and he's just trying to summon enough energy to push out these last couple of puppies. But the worry I have is that the puppies still inside her have been in there for a long time and that uterus has been contracting for a long time. We need to get them out before they go in through any more stress. So I'm going to give her some oxytocin, which causes more forceful contractions of the uterus and, and just helps her because right now she's so weak, she's unable to really push them out. So this is number 11. Maybe the final one. Going on the sound of you, you must be a boy. Yes, you are. After a marathon eight hours, Jewel can finally relax. One puppy has died, but the proud mum has ten healthy babies, seven boys and three girls. Hey, Jewel. We're all done. OK? You've done your work. Well done, girl. Which one are you taking? Not that one, not that one. <laughs> I'm taking this one. <laughs> Straight to the surgery <laughs> to be de sexed. Did you hear that? It seems to be a valuable member of our birthing team missing in action. I think Dad, token, clocked out about baby number five. It hasn't been seen since. You rest well, did you? Good night's sleep? Don't worry about us. But he's too little too late, surely. All I wanted was one moment with all the puppies. No. After all we've been through. Pretty clear she's a very devoted mum with very little faith in the men in her life. I'm pretty sure I overheard Jen saying how all her hard work was done and now it was all up to Jewel to look after the puppies. Yeah, that 
that's until she has to find homes for 10 puppies. How are they going? <laughs> They're great. When Jewel delivered puppy after puppy, I really had my concerns that she'd actually be able to feed all of them. But I turn up today, they're not just surviving, they're thriving, they're fat. She's done an amazing job. Four weeks later, and the puppies will soon be ready to leave their mum. One of the new owners, Alan, just can't wait. I think she's adorable. <laughs> I don't know, when I first saw her, I knew that I had to have her. When you consider the start of Jules' adventure with this unplanned pregnancy was far from ideal. The ending now with all those puppies having fantastic homes like Ellen's, that's a nice outcome. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. Yeah. <laughs>